Hello, welcome back to Algebra 1. We're going to review how to multiply fractions. Again, I know that you've been exposed to this before, but we're going to, to jump into it and make sure that everything's clear in your head before you go back into the algebra. What if you had the fraction 1 half multiplied by 5 sevenths? How do you do that? Well, we've been spending a lot of time with adding and subtracting fractions recently, and so you might think that you have to get some kind of common denominator. The good news is, for multiplying and dividing fractions, you do not need to get this common denominator. In fact, that makes multiplying and dividing fractions a lot easier than adding and subtracting them. So don't even worry about a common denominator. It's very simple to multiply fractions. All you do, you multiply the numerators together. 1 times 5 will give you 5. And then separately, you multiply these denominators together, 2 times 7, and that's going to give you 14. So literally all you do, and that's, that's it because it's simplified. Um, you multiply the tops, you multiply the bottoms, and you simplify. That's all you have to do. So multiplying fractions is extremely easy to do. All right, what if you had um, 3 fourths times 1 half? Well, you multiply the tops. 3 times 1 is 3, so that's going to be on the top. And then you multiply the bottom. 4 times 2 is 8. And you ask yourself, is that simplified? And it is, so you're done. It's very, very simple. What if you had um, 3 fourths times 2 sixths? You multiply the top, 3 times 2 is going to give you 6 on the top, and then you multiply the bottom, 6 times 4 is 24, and you ask yourself, is this fully simplified? Now in this case it's not, because 6 24 fourths, I can divide the top by 6 and the bottom by 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1, 24 divided by 6 is 4, because 6 times 4 is 24, and so you have the answer of 1 fourth. That is the final answer to that problem. 